Let me be clear. The He-Man woman hater crowd has always been a fucking problem. But in recent years, we've seen a spike in a similar online niche that has been dubbed the Manosphere. Now within the Manosphere are a number of groups that range from incel uprisings to masculinity seminars with a common ground in sexist ideation, ideology is probably the better word, and feminist repulsion. But today, instead of talking about the entire sphere, I'm jumping right into the line of fire and tackling what some may call the worst of the worst. Alpha male podcasts. Now I understand this whole digital alpha male mentality epidemic to be a tool of persuasion, which pretty much promotes that the natural order of humanity is for men to engage in morally and ethically deficient behavior, specifically at the cost of women's pride and respect. Now that's the key. That's the only way it hits. Furthermore, and this is the real kicker, we should like it. We should like it. Women should enjoy and support this natural order. We should see it as less of a hindrance to us and more of a humble sacrifice for humanity. Everything I'm about to say, you already know it to be true. You are a slave. You are a slave to money, to social economics, to status, to politics, to ideology. You have sold your soul to have a place in a world order that you should naturally oppose. All right, all right, all right. Whoa, now, whoa, now, whoa, now. Y'all heard the chick on the introduction. Y'all heard what she had to say. I'm going to go over that in a second, but first thing I want to say is that you know who should have made this thumbnail the book of Alpharonomy Kevin Samuels really shouldn't be on there but she actually showed Kevin Samuels at the beginning of that 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 excerpt that I played she actually showed Kevin Samuels she had him she you know she had a clip of short a short short clip of Kevin Samuels on it so I included Kevin Samuels because she included Kevin Samuels, but truthfully, Kevin Samuels don't really belong in this argument at all. You know what I'm saying? He never called himself an alpha male, but as I said in the community post, he did try to establish himself as being like the quintessential modern black man, whatever the hell that really supposed to mean. He's supposed to be it. But in, in reality, there's no... There's no natural environment where Kevin Samuels will reign as an alpha male. He just wouldn't make it. And neither would alpha male strategies for that matter. Alpha male strategies would probably just get himself hurt. You know, the only thing I can see him doing is clashing with the real alphas until they delete him. Same thing with Book of Alpharonomy. I could just see him clashing with the real alphas until they delete him. You know, there's a difference between these aggressive asshole type dudes and an alpha male. Dudes like Book of Alpharonomy and dudes like Alpha Male Strategy, they just they, they just aggressive, loudmouth, asshole type dudes. They're not alpha males, bro. So I wanted to establish that first that um Kevin Samuel shouldn't even made this cut, but she included him, so I kept it going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now, let's get into what she said about the alpha male thing. And you know, the problem I really have is before I have a problem with what she said, I have a problem with the fact that she is using a manosphere content to try to justify her views on what an alpha male is. Now, she did say alpha male podcast, but she said this whole alpha male thing is just a way to justify men acting immorally and ethically deficient behaviors at the expense of the pride and respect of women that's a bunch of bullshit bro that's a bunch of bullshit and this is what i meant about representation when i did that other video where i was talking about about being represented by people this is what i meant by that bro real men don't want no dude like alpha male strategy representing us man we don't want no dude like book of alpha Ronnie representing us and again kevin samuels he got dragged into this but he never claimed to represent us so you know kevin is really cool in this regard you know what i'm saying he never claimed to represent us 
you know. But these dudes with these alphas in their titles, man, none of these dudes are real alpha males, bro. You know what I'm saying? These dudes are all just loud mount, aggressive asshole type dudes that obviously have a problem with women. And as far as Book of Alpha Ron and me go, man, he be, all, he, be, he be trying to repeat all his old pimp type talk, man. But I seen that chick he took to that photo shoot with them white red pill men. You know, he showed up over about the white red pill dudes to have a photo shoot taken, right? He got this old cheese ball out of shape ass sister with him, you know what I'm saying? Now, let me tell you why that's a problem. When you trying to do a photo shoot for a reason, right? The woman that you use is supposed to represent something. She is supposed to be uh, uh, a verification of the lifestyle that you are trying to portray in whatever photo shoot that you are doing. You don't get no dusty ass, crusty ass, cheese ball ass, weave wearing ass, out of shape ass chick and put her in your photo shoot, bro, unless that's the best you can get. This is why you pay women to do the photo shoots. If you can't, if you can't pull one that looks good enough on your own merit, you pay one, bro. But the fact that he looked at that woman and thought she was sufficient for a photo shoot to represent the alpha male lifestyle, a pimp type player's lifestyle, only shows that he's never had women in his life. Y'all are following losers, bro. Y'all are following losers, man. What the hell have y'all done to even have an opinion on what I've been doing? What the hell have y'all won? Only thing you can identify with is losing. Y'all are following losers, man. You know what I'm saying? Losers, bro. Because men don't act like these dudes act. Men don't carry themselves like these dudes carry, bro. These dudes are not men. These dudes are busters. But anyway, let's get to this old bald head feminist chick. You know, she is a problem. And I'm not going to really dig too deep into her. I'm going to kind of keep this broad on all sides, right? You know, as best I can. I already, already dug deep into Alpha Ron and me and um, Alpha Male strategies, you know what I'm saying? But I'm going to try to keep it. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it broad from here on out. But let's talk what she said. She said being an Alpha Male, is a, this Alpha content is a tool of persuasion. No, it's not, bro. No, it's not. See, I just did a video about people trying to write your story or tell your story. Let me tell you from a man like me what it means to be an alpha, right? First of all, a real man don't really have a lot of smoke for women. This is why I don't like doing women content. I don't like doing relationship content. I know it's something I got to do to attract people in so I can show them the clean glass, dirty glass scenario, you know what I'm saying, so they can have something to something to measure against they can see what i'm saying and see what the mother dude's saying so they can see that this is different that this is the real but i don't like doing this kind of no, um relationship type content i don't like talking about women and stuff like that bro because i really don't have no smoke for women why because women are not in my league see as an alpha male i understand that women are beneath me i ain't i, ain't, I don't mean that in a disrespectful insulting way but they just not in my league you know what i'm saying I shouldn't have no smoke for women. I'm not tripping on all the crazy shit these women say, bro. I don't. That shit don't bother me. They can talk as crazy they want online, bro. Listen, I hear that shit, click that shit off, and keep on going about my day, bro. It don't bother me. It don't shake me. It don't make me angry. None of that shit, bro. I don't care because the 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 insanity of a female is not my problem. You know what I'm saying? Unless she's my female, in which in which case she wouldn't be my female. She crazy like that. So, I mean, I wouldn't even deal with it, you know what I'm saying? But if a sister came to me asking for help, I would try to help her. I would try to talk to him, try to big him up, try to try to reach him somewhere, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, but I'm not going, I'm not going to personally uh, dive into that insanity with her because that's not my world. See, the world of a woman, the thinking patterns of a woman, sitting online gossiping and shit, talking about celebrities, who fucking who, who got a baby for who, that's not what men do, bro. That's not what men do, bro. We just don't do that. So these dudes are not really representing what they claim to be representing. They're acting like females. That's all they're acting like. They are male versions of feminists. That's all they are. So you got to understand that I don't have smoke for women. I don't really have a lot of smoke for bust-ass dudes either, for dudes like these. I don't have no smoke for them. 
if some of these cats was to ask me to come on these shows, I wouldn't even bother, bro. I know it would help my channel grow, but I wouldn't even bother going on their show on their platform trying to argue with these kind of beta and Charlie males. Hell, I'm going to do that for, bro. I'm bigger than these dudes, man. And they know it. They know it. Because unlike them, I'm not mad. Yo, do y'all, have y'all ever wonder why I'm not angry? Have y'all ever wonder why I'm, I don't come across like I'm bitter like these dudes? Why I'm not just sitting here just dumping on women and, and shredding women up, you know, trying to find a video where some woman has some kind of misstep or mishap and said, he, he, ha, ha, you see what happened to her? That's bitch shit, bro. That's why I ain't doing it. That's whole shit, man. Like my, like my boy Silk the Shocker said, them niggas fake spawned the fucking songs with them. I would never get on them dudes' platforms, man, talking to them dudes unless they agree to some rules beforehand, bro. And the rule is y'all gonna act like fucking men. If I come on there, we gonna talk like men. I ain't about to get on here with y'all acting like a bunch of bitches. And, be, and to be truthful, I wouldn't even want to get on the platform with these kind of dudes because I wouldn't want these kinds of dudes around me. Niggas fakes, why I wouldn't do no fucking songs with them, bro. I just wouldn't do it, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta understand that in this, in the in the natural world, what makes a man an alpha is the law of universal natural selection. How people gravitate towards you. See, you gotta understand the online world is not a natural world. YouTube is not a natural world. My channel was having trouble catching on because it's not a natural world. But you drop me off in a penitentiary. You drop me off in any Martin Luther, like, like Jigga say, any Martin Luther in the country. I'm straight. And the dudes that come in contact with me are going to notice immediately that I am cut from a certain cloth and they're going to give me respect off back. We're going to click. We're going to jive. They're going to hear me out. Even if they don't agree with me, they're going to hear me out. You know what I'm saying? We're going to do what we can do together and we're going to leave the rest alone. And I know this true because I've been in different ghettos around the country, bro. I'm a ghetto rat. Every, every state, city I've been in, bro, I was in the hood. And I don't mean in the tourist areas. I was in the hood, in the projects and stuff, chilling with the dudes. You know what I'm saying? So everybody, you know, recognizes a man because under the law of universal natural selection, an alpha male will be recognized by other alpha males and beta males no matter where he go. And Charlie Mel's and so far, right? No matter where he goes. These dudes won't be recognized like that, bro. See, their whole concept of being an alpha male is how bad they can beat down on women. That's not an alpha male. Alpha male ain't got no smoke for women, man. Y'all could be as crazy y'all want to be. I don't care. Woman can have any kind of priorities or any, any kind of list of things she want from a man. I don't give a fuck. I ain't about to meet it. Ain't about to try either. Soon as the bitch pull a little scroll out talking about this what I want a man, I'm like, okay, go find one. Well, Kush, can't you try? Man, bitch, fuck you. I ain't about to try nothing. I ain't about to try to bend myself to your will or none of that shit. Hell to the no-no. I ain't doing it. You know what I'm saying? And at the same time, I'm going to express what I'm looking for. If she don't meet it, I'm not going to try to make her bend to my will. I'm not going to try to make the chick change. I'm not going to try to force her to be something that she's not. Either you are or you not. And if you're not, we're going to just part ways, you know, give each other a hug, you know, hang out if we can, you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying? But I ain't going to try to make her my girl, you know what I'm saying? That's how alpha males move. So this whole thing about what, what an alpha male is has nothing to do with females per se. Because just as the men recognize an alpha male no matter where you drop them, females recognize an alpha no matter where you drop them. See... How the world relate to you determines where you are on that scale. You know what I'm saying? That's what determines it. And I get the same reaction from people everywhere I go. I get the same type of responses everywhere I go. I've been in all kinds of penitentiaries. I've been in penitentiaries all over the place, man. I've never stepped foot on a yard and dudes immediately started trying to challenge me. Or niggas looking me up and down. Even when I was little, because I wasn't always this big, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm old now. It's, this is called age weight, you know what I'm saying? When I was younger, I was slim, you know, I was real small, you know what I'm saying? But motherfuckers wasn't booting me up when I hit the compound. I ain't had niggas looking at me rubbing their dicks and shit as I walked walked on a tear. You know what I'm saying? Nobody played with me like that. Because the second they looked at me, they seen man. That's what it was. The second they looked at me, they seen man. I've told y'all on many videos, man, I've never had problems with women like y'all be having. Women don't fucking play with me like that. 
You know why they don't play with me? Because the second they look at me, they see man. It don't take them long. The second they look at me, they see man. So these dudes should not be even representing the lifestyles, the ways, the characteristics, behaviors, the philosophies of an alpha male because they don't understand it. Because if they were real alphas, they wouldn't even be mad at women, bro. Alpha male not mad at women for wanting to live her own life her way because the alpha man, uh, alpha man is going to live his life his way. So he can't be mad at a woman that want to live her life her way. See, if it's good for the goose, it's good for the gander. Man, the alpha male understand that. We not mad at these women who wants to be independent, who wants to go out there and do their own thing, who don't want to get married. We not mad at them. We not mad at the women that wants to walk around like 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 little sluts and, and, and hookers. You know what I'm saying? We ain't mad at them. You know what I'm saying? We see them all the booty shorts on. We gonna we gonna look at that ass, man. You know what I'm saying? I mean, watch the ass cheeks clap. You know, but we not gonna be mad at them. We not sitting around looking at the husbands out there at the pool, right? Why they wives out there in thongs? We not we not sitting back saying, man, what kind of man let his wife come out here in a thong? We ain't tripping on that, bro. That's that's their problem. That, that's their business. In fact, I think it's gangster, man. That man's so secure, he let his woman walk around with cheeks clapping all over the pool, and he ain't even tripping. He ain't even looking around to try to see what nigga watching because he don't even care. He too busy watching his own wife ass because that's really why they want their wives dressed like that for their eyes. That's what y'all understand, but the alpha male understands it. The alpha male understand live and let live. You know what I'm saying? It's not about trying to control everybody. It's not about trying to put people in your ide idealistic box, trying to tell people how they should live life, trying to tell people how they should travel through life. And the alpha male understand that everybody gonna take this journey the way they take it. And as long as they do so in peace, they're not bothering nobody. The alpha male supports them. See, you don't hear this from these dudes because they don't understand it. All they talk about is how women supposed to be. And the way they talk about how women supposed to be, it only benefits them. It don't benefit the woman. The women get a bad shake the way these dudes are. She gets nothing out of the deal. But a lifetime of servitude, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and similar, uh, 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 some similar to slavery. That's all she gets out of it. No woman wants that, but no human wants that. Alpha male understands that. So we're not trying to enslave nobody. We not trying to uh, hold nobody back. We not trying to keep nobody down, you know? So we understand these things. But, you know, y'all got to understand that when y'all hear dudes that have this angry, aggressive tone, they are not representing the alpha male. Bro, I ain't got to say a word nowhere I go, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, my energy going to speak for me. It's a universal thing. Motherfuckers going to feel the energy, bro. It's a universal thing. I ain't got to say a damn word. I ain't got to try to be out front. I ain't got to try to be loud and calm. And I ain't got to try to, you know, stand out or stick out no kind of way. But when motherfuckers' eyes do cross me, they're going to recognize what they see. Because it's a universal concept. It's a universal concept. These dudes are trying to be alpha by way of talk. But at the same time, it's not translating to their real life. Because trust me, man, if a dude, an alpha male got women. First of all, alpha men got hoes. That's the first thing, because it's a universal thing. If you ain't good with women, you don't have no, you ain't no alpha male. You know how, the, how that one bitch said, if you don't speak woman knees, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? If you don't fully understand women, you're not an alpha male. What makes an alpha male an alpha male is because he understands the, the human condition. He understands human nature. You dudes that struggling to get women, y'all not alphas. Now there's... You know, there's nothing wrong with not being an alpha. I mean, that don't necessarily mean you're soft. Like I said, this is not a, this is not about strength. You know, Judge Joe Brown actually talked about that recently when he was talking about um, what's that dude named Major um, uh, the dude that's in the new Creed movie. I can't think of his name, and the dude that posed in essence with all that pink shit on, look like a little boy. He uh, what this motherfucker said? Joe, he said that. Masculinity is is fluid. And Judge Joe Brown was like, there's nothing fluid about masculinity, man. He said, these dudes are confusing. Um, how he said they're confusing, like sexuality. That's what George Joe Brown said. He said they're confusing sexuality with masculinity. And Judge Joe Brown said they had a lot of, you know, dudes that are gay. But we'll, you know, we'll fuck you up. 
You know what I'm saying? They, they'll, they'll fight, they'll stay on the ground, they're gladiators, but they might be homosexual. So this is not about your sexuality, you know what I'm saying? This is about understanding your role as a man. And, and same thing with Alpha. Alpha is just not about, you know what I'm saying, the words you say, you know, how you want to move. The Alpha is about your innate qualities, your innate energy, what you are on the inside, because that's what the people are going to see, because that's the universal thing. That's the universal thing, you know. Now, let me talk a bit about this chick. Classic, huh? She remind me of that same, same look, nose ring, uh, a little Afrocentric type style, you know, bald headed. I had a chick just like that, the one that told me that black men benefit from the patriarchy. Same type of chick, you know, same type of chick. You can't make them up. And I remember asking, I said, sister, and I didn't get mad. Sound like you dudes. I didn't pop off at the handle, nothing. I just looked at her and said, you can't even convince me that you honestly believe that. And I left it at that. And she said, what you mean? I said, there's nothing you could tell me to make me believe that you honestly believe that black American men benefit in this society because they are males. Not with all the hell we go through. You can't convince me you believe that. So then she switches, yeah, I guess, I guess you're right. I guess what we mean is that y'all seem to be able to cross over and deal with other people a little easier than we can. Now, I told her that's because we are easier to get along with than y'all are. That's why. That's why. But the point is, it's the same type of chick. Let me tell you something, man. You see one of these chicks like this here, bruh. Well-spoken, you know, uh, 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 Afrocentric type, you know what I'm saying? One of them Afro queen type, queenish type chick. Man, run for the hills. They're the worst ones to deal with. In fact, oftentimes, the more pro-black a black woman is, the harder she's going to be to deal with. The more she talk about black woman this, black woman that, black woman this, the harder she's going to be to deal with. This chick talking about, you know, she probably mentioned that she's, that she's a feminist in the very beginning. I don't know if y'all caught that. But the problem with that is that feminist is a white woman's ideology, not just a white woman's ideology. It's a white, racist, man-hating, atheist woman's ideology. Let me say it again. So white, racist, atheist, man-hating ideology. I know I ain't say it in the same order twice, but you got the picture. Same thing. So if a black woman is supporting that, you already know she's messed up in the skull, bro. Run for the hills. Run for the hills, bro. Her dome is twisted. Run for the hills. There's nothing to talk about with that chick. So when I hear sisters like this try to say that it, it, being an alpha male thing, the whole thing is about trying to, it's a, a, a persuasion tactic to justify men acting in morally and, and ethically deficient behaviors. What the fuck is she even talking about? What deficient behavior? Do she know how alpha males carry themselves? It's the alpha male that's actually going to get in front of her when somebody's trying to beat her ass. That's the alpha male that's going to jump in and fight for her, even though he don't know her damn name. It's the alpha male, like the brother that jumped on the train tracks and got that dude off the train tracks, man, in New York. It's the alpha male, a stranger, fell into the train track. He jumped down and got his ass up before the train hit him and killed him. Alpha males are the ones that protect our community. Alpha males are the ones that safeguard women. That's alpha males. So what deficient and morally, uh, what moral, moral and ethically deficient behaviors are she talking about? Because alpha males don't act like that. Alpha males are full of ethics because we understand they gotta have guidelines and rules. I always tell y'all, man, y'all think of alpha males like these wild, crazy type dudes. No, man, alpha males chill, bro. Alpha males are not over, overly aggressive because they usually be around other alpha males. And the only thing they're going to accomplish being that way is getting their asses shot. That's it. That's it. Because these other dudes ain't scared of them. So the only thing you're going to accomplish being an asshole is getting, 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 getting fucked up. Which goes back to what I said about if you drop us off in the environment, right? Book of Alpha Ronimy would get spanked within two weeks. Alpha male strategy be spanked within three weeks. Alpha male strategy strike him as a dude that know how to move a little, a little bit better. He might actually survive. He might just actually calm down and fall his ass in line. But Book of Alpha Ronimy, he's a buster. He ain't, he ain't gonna fall in line because he don't understand. He gonna get spanked. 
he gonna get spanked. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know what she's talking about because when you talk about ethics, take this society that we got. Do you think alpha males will run this society the way it's ran? Do you think that we will have systems set in place that use people and abuse people to death? Do you think this banking system will be able, will be the way it is if they had alpha males running it? No. Do you think our hood would be the way it is if the alpha males were still in control of it? No. Do, do, do you think the prison system, our, our justice system will be the way it is if alpha males ran it? No. See, when you start getting to moral and ethical deficiencies, that's the result of sub beta males running stuff because i mean and i mean that sub beta mean underneath the beta i'm talking about the gamma the delta the epsilons the sigmas you know what i'm saying when these men run stuff you get a society like this because those are not the kinds of men that should be running anything those are the kind of men that get hung up on power alpha males don't care about power bro See, alpha male don't need a system trying to bend nobody to his will. Alpha male will fight a man that on equal terms. In fact, he'll fight against the odds with just as much, you know, just as much confidence. I've gone into fist fights, man, with two, three dudes, man, by myself with no, with no problem. Got him up. See, it's not even about winning all the time. I'm about to get my scrap on them. You know, y'all, what y'all think I'm by myself? I ain't gonna swing? Fuck that. I'm about to swing. Y'all just got to do what y'all got to do. Y'all going to stomp me out, whatever y'all going to do, because we about to get it up right now. The alpha male is not the man that's deficient in morals. The alpha male is not the man that's deficient in ethics. She got everything twisted and, and, and fucked up. She got everybody all crossed up, man. She don't know what the hell she's talking about. She got us mixed up with them. She got the real men mixed up with the manosphere. And that's why I don't like these dudes representing us, man. The fact that they even call that thing the manosphere, man, is, is, is really bad on men. Because most of them dudes don't even qualify to be men. Most of them dudes are not even what you would call a man. They're just males. That's it. But if our society was ran by alphas, man, we would have a different reality going on. None of this stuff that's going on would be going on under alphas. You have fair treatment under alphas. You would have freedom, justice, and equality under alphas. That's why all these dudes sit around and want to put women in subservient positions and everything. This is why their philosophy is that women should be their slave and everything. That's not the mindset of an alpha. An alpha man is not, is, is not shook by, 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 by the liberated woman. Alpha male is not shook by a woman walking her own way, doing her own thing. We're not tripping on that, bro. We're not shook on how, how sexually free a woman feels she is. We ain't tripping on that, bro. We either deal with it or we don't. That's it. I mean, that, that, that's the gist of it. We either deal with it or we don't. But we ain't gonna get mad at them. So what you hearing in the so-called manosphere is not even man talk. It damn sure ain't no alpha talk. And you get bald head, half lesbo ass chicks like this bitch here. She sit there and she, and she, she play games with these words and descriptions to confuse things on purpose. We can't let them do stuff like that, bro. Somebody need to G-check these people, man. All of them, bro. Because, see, they are setting the ground for women like this to talk about us. They're making it so that she can misconstrue what we do. And we shouldn't allow that, man. Oh, shit. Hold on. I fucked up. I'm kind of running this thing live. Yeah, but they, 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 they um... They, they, they are the reason why she said that because their actions. She ain't gonna, she would never say that based on the actions of a man like me. She couldn't. First of all, I don't give a fuck what none of them do. You know, you, you do want to waste your one life supporting white women that don't care about you. That's on you. My problem is though with the kinds of men that still deal with a bitch like that. You got the problem, bro. But see, that's, that's them sub betas. A beta male ain't gonna deal with no chick like that. Alpha male ain't gonna deal with no chick like that. That's them sub betas. That's them sub betas. So when they get these sub beta ass type dudes, which be honest, Kevin Samuels is a sub beta. You know what I'm saying? When they get these dudes, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and these dudes have problems because they got to try to figure out a way to control the woman because that's what sub betas do. Alpha males don't need to control a woman by no systemic ways because guess what? You're going to stay in line because you're going to stay in line. I don't need nothing else. I don't need no other trick. I don't need no other nothing. 
you gonna stay in line, bitch, because you gonna stay in line, and it's just that simple, you know. And if you don't, no, I ain't gonna. I, I'm not gonna strike you or none of that shit. I'm gonna walk. You know what I'm saying? Go, go get your sub bed and play games with him, because you ain't playing games with me. So man, this is this is different energy. What, what, what she's describing is not alpha anything, and I get it. She's talking about those podcasts and stuff, but she. In her eyes, those podcasts are representative of men like Brother Kush, and they are not. They are not, bro. This, this, this real alpha here, bro. That's why y'all don't hear me switching up talking about no damn Sigma males. I don't know what the hell that is. I ain't trying to be no 18, 19 letter of nothing in no 18, 19 place. Nigga, I'm shooting for either first or I'm coming in a damn close second. That's it. And by now, I already know where I, where I stand in, in, in terms of universal energy, universal law of natural selection. I know where I stand. I've been doing this too long. I've been paying attention too long. I've been consciously aware of it too long. I know where I stand. But dudes like them, them dudes stand low, 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 man. Them dudes are low on the totem pole, and they know it. That's why they online crying about women. Like I said, alpha male ain't got no smoke for women, bro. We ain't tripping, man. You know, we we ain't the kinds of dudes that you know y'all y'all will sit back and you know y'all think every man that 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 let this woman you know be as sexually expressive as she wanna be y'all think that man weak but y'all understand they ain't got nothing to do with weakness these dudes just don't care man these dudes just not tripping if they, if they didn't like it they just wouldn't fuck with them that's it if it don't bother them it don't bother them now I'm not talking about Russell Wilson he's a sub beta I'm not talking about Russell Wilson you know what I'm saying. I'm not talking about that shit he's doing with, with Sierra, you know. I don't know how he feels about that. I'm talking more Jay-Z and Beyonce. Beyonce still go on stage half naked. Jay-Z be right there with a hyping up. <laughs> he right there on stage with a hyping up, you know what I'm saying? He ain't tripping, you know. So, I mean, I'm talking about like that. That's a different thing. What you see going on with Sierra and Russell, that's something different from what you see going on with Jigga and Beyonce. One alpha, the other sub beta. That's the difference. And the sub beta, if he don't have a system in place, religion, something in place, you know, ideology, something in place to control that woman, he won't be able to control that woman just based off of him as a man. And that's the difference. That is the difference. That is the difference. So now y'all understand, bro. So anyway, man, I'm going to leave it at that. If you want to... um. Show your love for the channel. By all means, like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel. Be sure to hit that bell icon so you can um, be re be um, be alerted when I release more videos. You want to throw a butter five ten dollars? Venmo at the Black Alpha, Cash App at the Black Alpha, PayPal at realblackalpha.com.gmail.com. Let me say it again: PayPal at realblackalpha at gmail.com. There you go. You can see it on the screen, actually. You know what I'm saying? So um. I'm going to leave it at that. The Patreon is coming soon. I know I keep saying that, and I am working on it. I'm not just talking. It is coming soon. But um, for now, we're going to leave it at that. I hope you all understand the difference now between these fake alphas, these, these sub-beta males that's online trying to beat alphas and the real alpha. And I hope I expose the games that these type of half lesbian, lesbo type feminist black women do, man. She know damn what them dudes ain't no men. But at the same time, no, no real man should be fucking with her. Don't be mad at her. Y'all see a chick like that, just walk away from her. Do it like I do. Her. I'll turn my back and walk on that bitch. I mean, look, a bitch like that'll be talking to me. I'll, I'll literally look her in the eyes, turn my back without saying a word, and just walk away. Leave her ass standing there, bro. Know why I'll do that? Because that's the kind of shit an alpha male would do. Think about it. I'm Brother Kush, a.k.a. the real black alpha. Salam.